Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to demonstrate the method that I'm going to use to put a radius on the top of this base fretboard. I made a sanding block out of a 2x4, just a short piece, about 4 inches long or so, and I filed this 12 inch radius into this surface. And I just used a hand file, like a half round file and some sandpaper. And I will stick a piece of sandpaper on here with some two-sided tape. Sort of like that. And here's a test piece that I tried it on. And um, you can see here that 12 inch radius, what this will look like when it's done. This turned out pretty well, and it was just a quick test, so I think, I think I can do a good job with it. Take my time. And so here I go. Okay, here we go. This is pretty aggressive sandpaper. It's 40 grit. So Chewing through it pretty quickly. It's not going to take very long. I'm going to keep an eye on the progress, make sure it's going even across the whole board. So I'll just check the corners here. See how they look. Uh, maybe measure like that. 6.3 6 6.46 Little light on this corner. Six point five three, six point six nine. So light on that corner. So I seem to be light on this corner, this corner, this one, and this one. So, and I can even see that just the way the light's hitting it. So if I can focus a little more on getting it down, on putting a little more weight on this side of the block. So it's a little bit uneven, but uh, we can straighten that out. So there it is, 12 inch radius applied to this fretboard. That was a lot of sanding, more than I thought it was going to be. It still needs to be finished sanded and I'm going to go, I don't know, I think I have up to 1500 grit sandpaper so I'll go at least that much. I want it to be really smooth because I'm not really planning to put any um, 
like shellac or any other kind of finish on it except maybe oil and oh I should mention this nut slot that's here I knocked that slot out uh, before I sanded because I wanted to make sure if I got any tooling marks on the top of the fretboard while I was trying to put that slot in that the tooling marks would be sanded out while I was doing the radiusing. Okay, I guess the next step is to taper this fretboard so it matches the taper of the neck and just generally start trying to fit a few things together and see how it all looks. And that will be the topic of an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. And of course, thank you for watching.